what I want to talk to you guys today about is fat um, when we're cooking, but not in its liquid or soft version. So what I have in front of me right now is um, Earth Balance Shortening. So shortening is a type of fat. We're going to use this in biscuits. We'll use it in pie. It's often used in cookies as well, but it's hard. So if you look, it comes in actual brick form. Um, ours has measurements on it and they're in smaller measurements just because the entire piece is quite small. So if you look, there's several tablespoons. So if a recipe calls for a tablespoon of shortening, all you're gonna do is cut it at the one tablespoon line. Now that's pretty easy, but sometimes we have to do some math with this as well. But a little bit of reading is gonna go a long way. So if you guys look right here, it says half a cup is equal to eight tablespoons. And if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that means the entire brick is equal to half a cup. Therefore, half of it, oops, I'm going the wrong way, half of it would be a quarter cup. Now, if I look really carefully here, it also tells me that a third of a cup is five tablespoons. So you do need to read. Now, the problem with this type of fat is that when you start getting odds and ends like this, I don't necessarily know how much I have. So I've cut this guy down and now it's just in the fridge and now I'm giving it to you guys to use. So what you can do to actually figure out how much fat it is, is you can do water displacement. So what I've done is I've taken out my liquid measuring cup, I put cold water into it and I filled it to the one cup mark. I'm now going to take my brick of shortening and I'm gonna drop it into my cup of water. I'm gonna get down low and I'm gonna to look to see where the water has risen to with my piece of fat floating. And if you look, it has risen to one and a quarter cups. So therefore, if I subtract one cup, subtract one and a quarter cups, I'm left with a quarter cup. And that tells you that the amount of fat I have in here is one quarter cup. So that is fat displacement. So if you're ever using a brick like this and you've got the full one, you can very easily cut it to the correct measurements. But if you've got odds and ends, you're gonna do the water displacement.